Hi, this is Lauren from LSP Actions and welcome to the video overview for the LSP Colour Palette Collection for Photoshop. You can use this set in Photoshop Creative Cloud, which is what I'm using it in here, Photoshop CS5 and CS6 and also Photoshop Elements, the later version, so think kind of 14 plus. This highly versatile set includes colours for bold results, earth tones and for whites, all bundled into a single action set um, for ease of use. In here you have over 90 intelligent, easy to use, one-click Photoshop actions. This set will adapt and add colours to your image for you to paint on without changing the texture or the shadows. This way is so much faster, much more high resolution and more fluent than trying to change the colours using um, other methods such as human saturation sliders, which can leave jagged pixel edges, which isn't cool when blown up to 100%. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install and get started using the LSP Color Palette Collection. The first thing you need to do is get the actions into Photoshop. After downloading from the LSP Actions website, uh, go into your downloads and find the LSP Color Palette Collection. If the file is zipped, you can right click and use Extract All on Windows or double click on the Mac or use the Archive Utility. For more information about how to install Photoshop Actions, you can go on the website www.lsp-actions.com and visit the Tutorials and Support section. But the easiest way to get your actions into Photoshop, whether you're using Photoshop Creative Cloud like I am here, Elements or earlier versions of Photoshop, is simply to double click the actions. And they are now installed into Photoshop. If you can't see your action panel, come up here to Window and choose Actions. And you will now see here the colour palette actions have loaded into the bottom of your action panel. The actions right now are in grey mode. You can use them in grey mode. You can simply click on an action and choose the play button down here. But I much prefer to use the actions in coloured button mode. I'm just going to close this folder for a moment there. Grab the colour palette and bring it up to the top. I do like bringing the action panel um, up to the top that we're working on. And then you can click the drop down again to see inside. Again, for more tutorials and support, if you're brand new to using Actions, you can visit the LSP Actions website and click on the tutorials and support section. Now, your actions may appear free floating, or they may be up here in your um, in your panel up here. It's much better to have the actions tagged in on the side. So you can simply grab this little um, title where it says Actions, pull it free, and then drag it in here till it goes blue. You can either have them this side or this side. I prefer the actions over here to the right next to the Layers panel. If you cannot see your Layers panel, come up here to Window and choose Layers. Now I'm going to switch over to Button Mode so we see the actions in one click coloured order, which is really, really nice and easy to use. So come up here to these little lines and choose Button Mode. If the actions look a little bit hectic like this all over the place, simply drag the side in until they snap into a nice neat column. And now you can see them all organised in coloured button mode. In the colour palette, at the top you have a manual section which I'll get to. This allows you to make a selection of your subject before using the colour palette. You don't have to do this, you don't have to use this section, but it makes things um, a lot easier. You also have manual um, colour pickers here, which again I'm going to get onto a little bit later. Underneath here you have the bold colour changes. These are for images that are really kind of bold and bright coloured. They will work best for those. Underneath you have the earthy muted colours. These work best for the kind of the pale or the earth toned um, or the neutral images. And then under here we have the white colour palette section and these work really well for the white images. Now changing white isn't the easiest thing in the world, but these actions do make it a lot easier for you. Under the white section you have the colour tweaks brushes. These are for if you've used um, the actions on the coloured kind of images here. You can then darken, lighten, mute the colour, add contrast, warm tone, cool tone. You can intensify and make it more vibrant, deepen or make it pastel. Um, and they will work for, so for, for example, you've added a colour in and you want to intensify that or calm that colour a little bit, you can just click these and they'll do it automatically for you. You then have the same for the white. So if you've edited an, um, an image and changed the colours on white, you can then further use the tweak brushes if you wanted to. And then under here, you have adapt the skin tone. So for example, if you um, have a, your image with the original image was red or blue and you have a little bit of colour casting there that's left over, you can use these actions to adapt the colour um, and create your brush to adapt it for a lighter or darker, um, a desaturate, but I'm going to get onto that in a bit so you don't need to worry or feel overwhelmed about that at the moment, it's actually really easy. 
And then you have finish overlays where you can warm up the whole image, you can cool down the whole image, you can add contrast to the whole image. Um, these work really well on other images too, not just the colour palette. So that's kind of a little bonus section there just for you. So that's how to install um, and an overview of the colour palette actions. Please do watch the next video where I'm going to show you exactly how to use these. I'm Lauren, thanks for watching.